Hi, welcome to Oakland Amster. Today I'll be taking a look at this iPhone 12 Pro Max. I ordered it this past Wednesday this week. There is actually no, no delay in getting this. Today's November 13th, Friday, launch date for this phone. Let's open this up. Packaging is definitely smaller than the previous iPhones. I got the the blue one. So here is the USB type C to lightning port cable. Put that to the side. Always with these stickers. Hmm, it only came with one sticker this time. A SIM injector. Nothing else there. Power, mute, plus, minus. This design reminds me of the I think it's iPhone 4. In Jersey, it's pretty cold right now, so the phone is actually really cold. The new one's got the three cameras, the LiDAR sensor, flash right here. We'll see if it powers up. about 11 seconds or so to power up the first time. I'll just set this up manually. All right, turns out my phone was backed up today. I'll be doing two trade-ins with my local cell carrier, my phone and my wife's phone. And it turns out they said that for cracks on the back, they're not going to count that against me. What they were really concerned about was the the cracks on lenses. If it has a crack, they're going to reject it. Cracks on the front of glass, they were going to take like take mounts off. The iPhone XS Max on the back, it's all glass now that this is metal. Hopefully it'll be more durable. I'm definitely going to get a screen protector. As for a case, I might get a case. I'm not quite sure yet. Um, it's not as slippery as the previous iPhones. But out of habit, I might just get one just because now I want to protect the camera. This display is still beautiful. The previous iPhone I have, the iPhone XS Max, that has a beautiful display too. I wouldn't say that this is anything better. I, visually, I cannot tell the difference. It's, it does feel like the phone is slightly heavier though. If you have any questions or any suggestions on accessories I should get for this phone, let me know. Thanks for watching this video. Bye.